A very good afternoon to all of you. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Priyanka Sharma. We'd like to start this bulletin with some breaking inputs coming in about the recent violent clash between India and China. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has now made his first public statement on the standoff with China. Rajnath Singh took to Twitter to express pain over the death of Indian servicemen in Ladakh. He said that the Indian troops displayed exemplary courage and valour in the highest traditions of the Indian Army. The defence minister said that the nation would never forget the sacrifice of soldiers. He urged the nation to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Indian Army during this challenging time. In some other inputs coming in, according to US intelligence reports, there are 25 casualties on the Chinese side from Monday's face-off. Remember, the Chinese foreign ministry is yet to confirm this. Now, we'd just like to remind our viewers that this is the first time that the Defence Minister has spoken about this violent clash that took place between India and China on Monday evening. And he has strongly supported the Indian Army and said that India must support the Army. And he has also expressed his pain and control, offered condolences to the families of those who lost their lives in this violent clash. He has said that the Indian troops displayed exemplary courage and valour in the highest traditions of the Indian Army. The Defence Minister further said that the nation would never forget the sacrifice of these soldiers and urged the nation to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Indian Army. we just like to remind our viewers that on Monday evening a violent clash took place at the line of actual control between Indian and Chinese troops. And India has admitted that there have been casualties on both sides, while China is yet to make an official statement on any casualties on its side. And now India's defence minister has strongly supported the army and said that the nation must stand behind its army 